YouTube land, Spencer at Langston's Alternative Power. Just doing a little project of mine. Thought I'd share it with you. I couldn't find a um, automatic gen start for a Predator 3500 inverter generator. So I decided I'd make my own. Uh, one with a Wi-Fi plug that you can use with the app from your smartphone. Uh, Seems to work pretty good. Got a few little things I need to change on it, but for what I want to do, it works just fine. Um, right now, I just got it using a, one of the smart plugs on uh, the TC Link smart plug. Same thing I use on all my devices down at the cabin off grid. This is for off grid also. And uh, what I did is I took a little uh, 120 volt to 12 volt. Uh, DC transformer and I used it to run to this little relay which is a 12 volt relay I don't think you can see it there and uh, use that for a signal wire and basically the other two wires it just goes I got them tagged in here with the um, starter switch everything still works just like it did from the factory it still works with the this regular switch right down here if you can see it it'll still work that way and we put an electric choke on it which I think you can see the it's a door lock actuator is all it is get them pretty cheap off of Amazon get a couple of them for like 30 bucks some cheaper than that and I uh, run my ground over here for that and then this the wire for the choke actually is tied in with uh, the same wires going to the relay so whenever the starters engage the choke comes on and it pulls it right here and what I did is I took a piece of uh, TIG rod like I got here it comes with one of these they're not quite long it might be long enough but it just didn't work out the way I wanted it to because when you get the door lock actuator, it comes with one of these little locks. That way you can still use your manual choke that it came with and tie the electric choke with it. So it worked out pretty good. But uh, anyhow, that's pretty much all of the wiring. The only thing I got to do now is I've got to hook a wire into this here so uh, we can cut it off, which I really don't need it to cut off because when I crank it up, I let it run until it runs out of gas. Um, you know, charge the batteries if it's a real cloudy day. But I'm going to actually tie it to my charge controller on my um, solar array. So once it hits the float mode, it'll cut it off if it need be. Because I'm going to eventually add an extended fuel to it, and I'll do a video on that later. And I'm going to do one of these with a the Bluetooth. I'm gonna hook the Bluetooth in with this also so you can do Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and when I get it to where I can do both of those and cut them both off then I'll do another video but for right now I just wanted to show you what we got going on here ain't too much to it I uh, just had to think about it for a minute but this is the app see, right here get it up so it says generator start. I don't know if you can see it or not. But basically, what we're going to do is this cuts the, the Wi Fi switch on. And I don't leave it on. I just, uh, let's get it here where you can see. I'm going to hit it. Once it cranks, then I'll cut it back off. Oh, let's see here. Still have to use the manual cut off, but on the next video, I'll have it where we can cut it off with the app too and do it Bluetooth. Y'all have a good day. God bless.